I'm Evan Fortson, and today we are going to be playing... Oh, what are we going to be playing today? Uh, I could do Guild Wars 2 or Timber and Stone. I'll do Timber and Stone, just for now. A little time passer. Play. So Timber and Stone is a game made by Robert Reed. One guy. He made it recently. And then it got a lot of credit and popularity because it was on Generic B's channel and Generic B is someone on the Minecraft server. In the Minecraft server, if you don't know what that is is where all the elite Minecraft YouTubers go to do their YouTube-y, Minecraft-y things. So let's name the settlement... Hold on. I actually tried to do a playthrough of this game and record it before, but it turned out it didn't work. So I named it Off the Record Town. But I think this time I'm gonna name it... The Dryer. That's an awful name. Um. Oh god. This is gonna take an hour. Timber Town. Good enough. Large map size. The game's not that well optimized yet, considering it's an indie game made by one dude. Um, but you can pick up this game. I'll put a link in the description to the website if you want to check more out. Now, this game is really interesting, because the way that you choose your starting area is by looking at a map. You can set it to 3D mode, too, to find out where the mountains are. Um, I don't know why these are islands are so high up. Um, I like choosing a river. Let's just confirm. So it's going to generate an area based off of these stats. And it takes quite a while. This episode might be a little bit long. And crap. I forgot to set a timer. Timer, 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 timer. Setting one now. Ah, yes. So this is the area that we start in. And let me just check to make sure I like this river here. That's good. What I really care about is I really want to make sure that every side... Uh, oh, fine. I'll take it anyway. Usually I want to make sure that I can make a road on every side. Because that increases my chance of peeps coming over. No, this isn't a forest. But it's a really standard area. Really boring. But it'll help me show you guys what the game can do clearly without having to worry about getting trees out of the way. So I'll keep it. And let's stay in this draining... What do you call it? Draining field. And I'll select my starting point and then we can actually play the game. Okay, so we have eight people. And I still haven't set the timer, actually. Hold on. No, pause the game. Shh, don't tell anyone I do this during my videos. Okay, don't tell Ethan. Alright, so... We have our peeps, and they all have certain jobs. So, builder, keep him. 
Carpenter, we need one. Trader. We don't need a trader early in the game. He is hardworking and has good vision. So we would make lots of things uh, well. He's a good miner. Do we have any miners? We don't. So William will be our miner. Now this makes up a huge part of the early game, actually. Deciding where people are and getting set up. But I actually think this is the most fun part of the game. Because you're advancing and getting things done. So this is our tailor. And we might keep a tailor, we might not. Now, herders. We don't need a herder, because they're broken. So our herder will be a fisherman instead. And that's relatively useful. They get a lot of food. Stonemason. Blacksmith. Now something doesn't seem right. What are we missing? I guess we would need a soldier or a, and a farmer and or. But we have a blacksmith, a stonemason, and a carpenter. I can't really complain. But an infantry would be nice. So, I could ditch the spin mason to the blacksmith. Oh, but you're a level 5 blacksmith. That's really awesome. And you're not good at infantry or archery. Stone mason, level 2, and a good archer. Okay, that was actually really easy. Now, it's not a great startup. I could spend a little more a little more time making sure that everyone's like optimized but this is good enough so first things first we have I know I have this tab open by default you guys when you play won't and that's just because actually I'll show you why later so I'm gonna tell you to hunt all of these things automatically and then I will give you some arrows and a bow. Get to work. You will also have some arrows and a bow. And equip optimal armor. We don't really have much for you. Right, we don't have any shears. Oh, to crap, 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 crap. We need a woodcutter. Can you do woodcutting? I feel dumb now. Yes, you can. Bruce, I'm sorry. Here, I'll make it up to you. I'll give you an awesome name. I think that's how you spell bunion. Doesn't matter to me. Now, we do have an axe. That's always good. I'm gonna have you independently chop the nearest trees. And we're gonna have you wait in the hall when you're idle. Miner. Okay. Have you just clear out this stone for now? Naturally, he doesn't have a pickaxe. And so now, we're gonna wanna build some tools. Oh, wait, but we can't. Carpenter. So our carpenter is gonna be our only tool builder right now. That's okay. So the reason I have this here is I click track resource and it pops up. You can just right click it to get rid of it. And now we have a rope, which means that we can make a fishing pole. 
because that is extremely important early in the game. Oh, I hear arrows firing. I know it's the forager, but don't waste my arrows. So yeah, foragers just waste arrows. So what you want to do is make a hunting knife. Which would actually be top priority. The tailor's not too important. I was just gonna keep him around in case I need rope. But he shouldn't be that important in an early game. Now, do you have a fishing rod at this point? Yes, you do. Get to work. Fishing rods don't break, but everyone else's tools break. So that's pretty much Nimmer and Stone. The game involves a lot of waiting, but it can actually be pretty engaging if you're kind of in the mood for this kind of game. Like, you can, I can literally just play this for hours, kind of just watching, micromanaging. But, yeah. So, because there's usually always things to do. Unless you're bad at the game, it doesn't have to be a waiting game. So I'm going to build the hall, and for the hall, you have to select a little outline for it, and that's just so that AIs know where the hall is. Now, hold on. I like building it by the proportions of 3 by 9 tables. So we're going to build it nine by nine by fifteen. What do I like? Let's say, yeah, that works. Then we'll build a door. Ah, and just for the carpenter, we will make a carpentry bench for you. Now, Wilford will complain for his whole life. A forager. I have a fun game, it's called Equip the Weapon That Doesn't Make You Lose Ammo. But it is useful ammo. So now, we have a hunting knife. And sorry if I sound a little tired, this is early in the morning when I'm recording. Oh, no, 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 no. Where, where are you? Don't, don't worry about that. I didn't assign you to do that at all. What do you need to do? Right, okay, never mind that door. So I was thinking about what to build the town hall out of. I was thinking plaster, 
would, but maybe I'll make it like a large kind of feel. Except eventually this will be a huge bustling city, and I don't know. The town hall could be a lot of things. But I'm not going to start construction on it yet. What I will do, though, is make a road. And so roads... How they work is... They connect your hall to the outside edges of the map and they allow settlers and merchants to travel or not settlers, they're called migrants and once they're migrants or once migrants come in and decide to join your settlement then you can use them and merchants, if I had a trader, would trade with me. On the higher level trader you have, the better the trades are. Again, sorry for my slurring words, lazy voice. I should try better. Here I will. <clears throat> so, I'm building a road. <laughs> really exciting gripping gameplay. But yeah, the game is twenty dollars or something. Professional commentary there. And it's an amazing game. It doesn't really look that great when you're doing a playthrough of it like I am. But Trust me. If I was better at commentary, you would want this game. Alright, so, ooh, ooh, easy. There we go. So we have our first road. And up to four roads will increase our chances, four going in every direction. So I'm going to build one more. Ta-da! Cool stuff. Alright, now I'm gonna need some bridges later, I guess. So that's pretty much what an early game looks like. Where is my timer? Timer, 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 timer. Oh. Alright. Five minutes left. So. This is the game, and you guys should tell me if you want to see any more of it. Sorry, I'm a little tired. But if you do want to see any more of it, I'll probably upload more today. Um, yeah.
Now, to pass the time, I'm going to do what a lot of YouTubers like to do. You guys can ask me any questions that you want about me, um, or OTRG cast, or anything that I probably have an answer to. And I will answer it to the best of my ability. And it passes time. And I will answer any question that you ask. Unless, of course, that question is totally and utterly just not not YouTube friendly. That doesn't really... Y you know what I mean. Now, let's see. Oh, also, suggest names for people. So we have a female fisherman, so... If you could think of a name for that, that would be great. Minor. I always like to the minor something that actually generated randomly on someone, but I thought it was hilarious, so I kept it. And it was coal, but for a minor, right? Coal. Ha 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 ha. That's it's not that funny, but I still thought it would be funny for a builder. I always think it's pretty straightforward. Bob. Archer. Oh, no, it's a female archer. If it was male, I'd name him Bob Rob eh, Robin Hood. But it's not. So suggest a name. Carpenter. No, I always went with Jesus, but... <laughs> If you could think of another famous carpenter for variety, I would go with that. So I'll keep it at Oliver Malaburn. Wilford the Taylor. Now I was thinking about this. If it was a girl, I'd go for Taylor Swift. But here I'm going to go for... I don't know. Suggest in the comments. Something related to cloth or something. Like denim. Denim's a good name. Anyway. It was afternoon in the game. This is an awful, awful way of showing you all the content. Because not much is happening. Ah. So, if you look, they're actually waiting in the hall. Because they're idle. I'm going to have... Hmm. I'll just have you clear all of this stuff out before we make a quarry or anything special. Oh, crap. Yeah, you can only mine... Three layers. Or two layers. At a time. But that's timber and stone. All of its timbery stoniness. So tell me what you think, because the timer is done. See you all later.